finally as to Dennis himself. The proof of the pudding, of course, is in the eating, and I would like you to see Dennis actually at work. It so happens that we have a segment of a piece of a show called Let's Make a Deal. I'm sure you've heard of that program. Monty Hall was not able to make uh, a show, and on a couple of hours' notice, Dennis uh, stepped in for him and did, I think, a very, very good job. And we can see Dennis now working with contestants, with big prizes, and actually this ingredient is concerned with pricing itself, something which I think they borrowed from The Price is Right. Let's take a look at it. Here we go, Jay. Are you ready to go again? All right. Now, I'm, I'm looking for a married couple to put some items in a very proper order. Married couples? Married couples? You two are married? You two, you two married? Stand up. Mary Royer. And you must be Mr. Royer. That's right. Tim, how many children do you have, Ken? We have no children. No children. How long have you been married? Nine and a half years. What you been doing? <laughs> Ken and Mary. I want to ask you a question about Ken. Mary, is he an orderly man? Is he? Does he put the tooth cap back on the toothpaste? No. no. Oh, yes, he does that. Well, what did you say no first? What did you think I was going to say about the toothpaste? Does he uh, roll it from the end? No. He doesn't. Just Oliver. squeezes it from the top. Yeah. How about drawers? Does he close the drawers? Now and then. Does he put his socks away orderly in the hamper or wherever you put your socks? On the floor. On the floor. Because this thing has to be orderly, the thing I'm going to do. If you prove to be an orderly couple, you'll soon have this in your garage. Come here. There it is. The Plymouth Satellite Sebring features your body construction and portion bar suspension. Plymouth coming through with the kind of car America wants. With tax and license, it sells for... $3,614.89. Oh, dear. All right, now, I said if you prove to be orderly, you can have that in your garage. You don't have it yet. If you know your prices, that car can be yours. Now, here's the deal. You will notice down there on the floor five items on the table on the display floor. Jerry will tell you about each item, and I want you to listen very carefully because to earn that car, you must line up those items from least to most expensive. Okay? Jay? Right. First of all, for sound on wheels for Motorola, this compact MST8 8-track car tape player with big sound and racing stripe. Next, from General Electric, an upright vacuum cleaner. It's part of the power pack from General Electric. Then, a 10-pound raft hickory smoked ham that looks as good on the outside as it tastes on the inside. And now from Sears, a powerful 12-speed table mixer grinder. The right speed for chopping or mixing is right on the mixer. The latest countertop appliances at Sears Counter Revolution. And finally, this ladies' beauty case, Samsonite Fashion Air luggage with classic styling. Sturdy as a treasure chest. Fly, Samsonite. All right, now they're really working hard here, figuring it out. All you have to do is line up the items from least expensive to most expensive. If you put them in the right order, that car will be yours. And remember, as always, we're talking about the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Tell you what you do, even though you studied them, go down on the floor, look them over very, very carefully, study them as hard as you want, while the folks at home have this to study, and then we'll be right back. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Roy, I'd like to say a few words about Texas here, or do you want to go on that way? <laughs> Where are you from? I never found out. California. From California. Where in California? Uh, Strathmore. Strathmore. Never heard of it. And I'm here ten years now. San Joaquin Valley. Farming community. You'd, you'd like to talk just chit-chat, you know? Do <laughs> no. I go for the car, can or not? All right. Now, you've had time to look them over, right? Yeah. Let's give the folks at home another chance to look at them. Okay. From the least expensive, remember, to the most expensive. There's, first of all, this is not the order. I'm just showing them to the folks at home. The car stereo, the vacuum cleaner, the ham, the mixer grinder, and the case. All right. Now, line them up least to most expensive, and that car will be yours. Who's going to be spokesman? You can just... Ken? He will, yeah. uh, what are you saying first, Ken, baby? <laughs> the ham. He says the ham. Let's see the ham. 1075. That looks pretty good. I'll tell you what I'll do with you. It may not be pretty good. It may be something less than that. If there is, you'll be out. So do you want to quit right now? I'll give you a hundred bucks. That's more than you came with. No. 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 You want to go on? All right. No. Have a pick. The Samsonite. The Samsonite. There's got to be more now. Everybody's groaning. Let's see. The Samsonite. That looks like a pretty good jump. Now you're getting a little worried. I'm not saying that is too big a jump. I'll tell you what I'll do with you, Ken. 
And Mrs. Roy, you're looking well, I'll give you $200 to quit right now. What are you going to do? What do you think they should do, audience? I hear some saying quit, some say go. What are you going to do? Let's go. Now, all of a sudden, he doesn't make up his mind anymore. She does. What are you saying, Aunt Mary? Shall we try? Let's go. We're going to try and go on again. All right, the next one has to be higher than 4,300. I mean, $4,300. <laughs> are you ready? Okay, go. The mixer grinder. The mixer grinder must be more than 43. And it's 54. <laughs> Well, now, I feel philanthropic like Marty Hall is philanthropic. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you $300 right now to quit. $300. What do you think, audience? Oh. You know, this is very interesting. You've convinced all of these people that you've made the right move. But before, when the 43 came up, they went, oh. Are you going on or you want $300 from me? You're going on. All right, go. The vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner must be more than fifty-four ninety-five. Carol, is it? No. <laughs> All right. So you have four of them there. Let's see what the auto stereo was, Carol. Fifty-nine ninety-five. Do you feel badly? That's all right. You know, you, know, you do feel badly. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Is since Monty isn't here, and he's not looking in, I'm going to give you everything on the table. Oh! It's worth $216. Oh, okay. 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 Mary? Being an ex-actor, being an ex-actor, I just got your nose in my eye. <laughs> Because I was trying to give you the downstage <laughs> microphone and, and camera, see? Uh -huh. And I maneuvered and you blinded me. Uh -huh. Thank, you. Thank you very much. You've seen Dennis. You've heard about our plans. And we at Goodson Todman and our associates at Viacom are convinced that the new Price is Right is a certain hit entry for the early evening time on your station. <laughs>